The Philippine Navy, through the Naval Sea Systems Command and the Naval Research and Technology Development Center, is committed to advancing its indigenous capabilities through the Self-Reliant Defense Posture, or SRDP, program. Several collaborative research and development projects are currently underway with various government agencies, academic institutions, and industry partners. These initiatives aim to strengthen national defense, promote Filipino ingenuity, boost the economy, and develop strategic maritime and technological solutions tailored to the country's needs. Building a universal mount for heavy battle automated weapon integration project Bawi Mark Zero, implemented by the Department of Science and Technology, Metals Industry Research and Development Center, in collaboration with the Philippine Navy, the Metronics and Robotics Society of the Philippines, and Industrial Controls Corporation, and funded by the DOST. This project ran from 2019 to 2022, focusing on developing an automated weapon mount for heavy-barreled firearms adaptable to land and naval platforms. Currently, with a notice to proceed or NTP at hand, the project is in the mass production stage with Industrial Controls Corporation is the winning bidder for the manufacturing of 10 units of the improved project. Bowie Mark 1 Project AOCMP enhanced lightweight fiber reinforced composite structures for defense applications. This project is spearheaded by the Department of Mining, Metallurgical and Materials Engineering at the University of the Philippines Diliman in partnership with the Air Force Research and Development Center and the Philippine Navy and is funded by the DOST from 2021 to 2023. The project developed ballistic protection gear, such as vests, helmets, and shields, yes, using lightweight composite materials. It is now undergoing a follow-up phase from November 18, 2024 to May 17, 2025 under Fast Track, which focuses on strengthening product development and market fit validation of the Aerocom Ballistic Tactical Vest. Standard hull design for the Philippine Seawater Topology, or SPST, project, implemented by the University of Cebu Maritime Education and Training Center in partnership with Marina BR, the Philippine Navy, the Philippine Coast Guard, and Damria, and funded through the DOST grants in a program. This project aims to develop a technical manual on seawater topology and standard hull designs suited to various maritime regions in the country. Data has been collected from eight sites, Batanes, Samar, Palawan, Iloilo, Romblon, Cebu, Surigao, and Sambanga de Norte. Now in its third year of implementation, the project seeks to serve as a scientific and regulatory reference for shipbuilders, researchers, and policymakers in the maritime sector. Development of a hybrid marine air vehicle, or HMAV, led by the Sabu Technological University in coordination with the Maritime Industry Authority, or MARINA, the Philippine Navy, and the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, or CAAP, funded by the DOST. This project aims to design a rapid and efficient inter-island transport vehicle capable of hybrid marine and aerial movement. The project is currently in its third year, focusing on structural redesign and stability validation. A memorandum of agreement is in process with the Philippine fleet, identified as the potential end user. The design and development of a Green Maritime Autonomous Surface Ship or MASS prototype. This ongoing initiative is also implemented by the Cebu Technological University in collaboration with Marina, the Department of Transportation, and the Philippine Navy, with funding from the DOST. The project aims to develop a sustainable and unmanned surface vessel for future maritime missions. Now in its third year, the team is refining the vessel structure and electrical systems. A memorandum of agreement is currently being finalized, with the Philippine fleet being identified as the intended end user. Development of an underwater sensor network for its tsunami detection using ground terrestrial and nano-satellite communication. This project is led by the University of Perpetual Health System, Delta Laspinia's campus, in collaboration with the Philippine Navy, DOST 5 Oaks, and DOST, and funded by DOS ASTI shared runs from 2023 to 2025. It aims to deploy a network of underwater sensors capable of tsunami detection, with potential future upgrades for undersea surveillance using hydrophones, sonar, and related mission payloads. Preparations are underway for the pre-deployment of a miniature UWSN chamber at the Naval Station Pascualadesma in August 2025, followed by the prototype deployment at Puerto Galera, Oriental Mindoro, in September 2025. The Secured Command and Control Communication Link System. This project was spearheaded by the DOST Balak Scientist Engineer Leo Almazan, 
together with the Holy Angel University in collaboration with the Naval Research and Technology Development Center and funded by the DOST. Phase 1 of the project was conducted from 09 December 2019 to 10 of March 2022. The project focuses on establishing a secure communication infrastructure for command and control systems, contributing to national efforts and strengthening cybersecurity, defense communications and technological resilience. More so, NRTDC eyes the potential development of autonomous systems and equipment ranging from unmanned aerial vehicles and manned surface vehicles and manned underwater vehicles to drones and satellite technologies. These collaborative projects highlight the Philippine Navy's commitment to enhancing maritime defense capabilities through research and development, technology and collaboration by investing in Filipino expertise and whole-of-nation partnerships. The SRDP program not only bolsters our defense capabilities but also strengthens national security, boosts economic development and promotes technological self-sufficiency and inclusive development. Truly para sa Pilipina.